Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to extend a background uh, using Photoshop Elements. So let's say we have this dog picture here and we want to kind of extend the background with the grass and the bushes, you know, a little more. So let's say we're going to maybe put another dog in the picture, Photoshop one in later. So to do so, you want to go to Guided Mode. Make sure you're on Special Edits in the Categories up here. Then you want to pick Extend Background. So now you choose your canvas size. You could pick one of these defaults here. So let's say you're going for Instagram uh, post or Facebook post and you want to make it the right size, you could pick that. Or in my case, I'm going to do custom. And then here you could either put in your pixels, how, you know, for your height and width, or you could just simply click on resize and drag it where you want it to go. And then click over the check mark when you're okay. So this is our fill area here. So now you want to click uh, which side you want to extend. Obviously, I'm going to go to the left. So I'll leave that to the left. And now you could do auto fill or extend. So we're going to auto fill because we don't want to extend it. We just want to fill it in with the uh, existing background here. And so now you can see that it uh, extended the shadow, extended the grass, extended the bushes. But you can see it kind of messed up here with the uh, put some of the grass in the bushes. So once that happens, you could either use the spot healing brush or the clone stamp to fix that. So let's see if we could kind of fix the grass here with the spot healing brush. It does an okay job. Not too bad down there. Let's kind of fix this here. The grass doesn't really match. Get that one out of here. So that might be better for the clone stamp tool. So if you don't know how to use the clone stamp, you hold down Alt to kind of draw where you want to take the uh, image from. And then you just kind of fill it in like that. So you've know, got a little duplication there. And then we'll use the clone stamp up here as well. This is a blurry background. It kind of works, does a pretty good job. So you can see overall it did a good job of extending it. It looks, you know, pretty realistic. Plus, if you're going to add something on top of it, you're going to cover up some of your edits. So once again, let me just get out of here. I'm not going to save this. Guided mode, special edits, extend background, set your canvas size, one of the defaults here, or pick custom, put in the pixels, or just drag it the way you want to go. You can go both directions if you want, and then choose your uh, size. So now it's tells you know it saw that I wanted to do left and bottom, so it saw that. So you just click on autofill, and then just make any edits you need to do with the uh, spot healing brush and the clone stamp tool, and you'll be good to go. And then once you're done, you can just click on next, and then you could save it or save as, or continue editing in one of these modes. And then obviously you could print it or share it. You know once you have everything looking good. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.